So we bought all of our soffit last night and we were on the way to the land with it this morning, got to the land and none of our soffit is in the back of the truck. So we think we've lost it. On the way, we're retracing our steps so we can find 17 sheets of soffit. What, $618 worth? Oh look, there's another, it's like an Easter egg. <laughs> okay, that's piece number three we just found. 14 more to go. Whoa, there's two more. That's number four and five. There's more. Piece number six, piece number seven. But is that two or one? Six and seven. All right, so we have found, we just picked up piece number nine. I can see there's a bunch more right up there. We'll see how many pieces this is right here. I bet just the vibrating of the rocks on the dirt road bounced it out, even though we had it tied down. It's just so slick. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, that is, maybe that's the whole hunk. We already picked up piece number nine, so nine. that was, I'll count them again, but that's what, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This is it, if we have nine, this makes all 17. Click it anymore. How's that? Right. That oh, that's not going not anywhere. Going anywhere. <laughs> that's an interesting way to start the day. I wouldn't call it Call it frustrating? What an interesting start to the day. We had a project we wanted to get done. These are things that happen along the way. So, we're going to go back. We threw a few pieces. Um, out to the side when we realized we had lost everything in our driveway. So we're going to go back and make sure that we have those four pieces as long as we have those four, as long as we have four pieces of that F channel that we laid to the side while we came to get everything else, then we have everything and I'm going to keep an eye on the mirror on the way. It's just less than a couple miles, right? Once we get to the, to the asphalt, it's two and a half miles. Okay, so just we're just a few miles away. Okay, we made it back with all the pieces of soffit, all the pieces of F-channel, thank goodness. So we're just unloading it here and you haven't seen our metal yet that came for the house, but here is our tin ready for the house. But we have to get the soffit up. We need to run that electrical and plumbing before we start putting that up, but at least it's here. So now we're gonna get started on we are gonna to try to mark some electrical and plumbing today. We also are gonna to try to finish those gables so that we can get the solar power up and running. So for the gables here, same thing. We want to mark them 16 inches on center. Um, and then we will, after we get these up, we will just put the plywood on the front and then continue the house wrap on that little bitty triangle. We're really just using scraps from the house <laughs> stuff. So he's measuring it, marking it up there. We'll get it cut and get it up. This is our little pile of scraps from um, two by fours and things making the walls inside the house. So we're just using this to help make the gable ends. All right, so he's got three of the little supports for that gable end up. Now, while he's working on the gable ends, I'm gonna show you what I was doing in the house. I was marking where we want outlets to go and where we want the light switches to go for the rooms in the house. So I'll take you inside and show you what I did now. Um, it's very important that you know the code for these things because like our code dictates that we have to have a light switch, I mean an outlet at least every eight feet. So you start uh, just at the, so you'll see, let's see. So, Here's the bedroom door, and I started right here on this first stud with my first outlet. 
And then I just measured eight feet all the way around. Next outlet, next outlet. I put an extra one here because I wanted one behind the bed and Craig wanted one on the side of the bed. And then we just continued around the room. And then I went and then I started putting in where we wanted light switch. So here's an example. When I went to the living room, I want this to be three switches and I want it to control the fan lights, the lights for the room, and the storage lights for up here in the loft storage area. So I'll also have a switch up there, but I'll also have a switch down here so I can flip the lights on before we go up into the storage loft. The requirements are a minimum of eight feet, but you can put them closer together. So I did do that in several instances just to make sure we had um, lots of extra outlets. I did another thing over here, which I'm a little bit excited about. Right here I put, which this is gonna be a four outlet. And my thought is that once we have the steps in and we get, we're gonna build in storage to the steps to that loft, that that will become a charging station. So at nighttime, devices can go in there in a drawer they can plug in in there and charge um, overnight that way they're not in anyone's rooms um, and that'll just kind of be like a holding spot and like out of sight so i'm kind of excited of course my battery died the other day when we were working on these gable ends so you can see where the plywood is on now and that gable end is closed in but we have to put house wrap on the outside when we put up the house wrap to begin with we left this piece tall and just kind of bent it down as we worked so now we folded it back up because you want the pieces to overlap. And now we've got the very small piece we need to put at the top. We'll give it about a foot of overlap here. And hopefully this will be a quick job to get this, this gable completely finished. We're actually just using a piece of leftover that we had from the house. We cut out a strip. We knew how high and how long, and we just cut it out of the leftover we had from the other. Versus holding that big nine foot roll up here, that would be awful. So here it is with the house wrapped completely on that gable end. It did not take long at all to do that. Now we're gonna work on the other side. So inside, you can see we already have these little studs up for the gable end. We also put up these little pieces that will help the plywood attach to them when we're on the other side. <laughs> There's that piece of house wrap that we left um, on. It's flapping up. That's what will come up. And then now we're just going to cut and put the plywood here. All right, so this is what it looks like from the outside. We got to put a piece of plywood here and a piece of plywood here. And then that piece of house wrap that's hanging will flip up and attach. And then we'll do just like we did on the other side. We'll attach that last little piece of house wrap across the top. And then this will be ready for the metal. Do you want me to go on and cut the piece of house wrap? Yeah. All right, so we're just taking, these are scraps that we had from the doing the outside, and I'm going to measure and cut. So we need it to be about 10 feet wide. Whoa, huh. right on 10 feet. Here's the middle, which is the five foot mark. And this five foot marker, I only have to go up 20 inches to make sure we've had enough for the top. And I leave a little extra just in case. So, get myself a cut right here. All right, now we're just gonna cut it all the way across. We have a much smaller piece to deal with than this. We don't need to deal with this huge piece while we're up there. Two pieces of plywood up. We gotta put up the house wrap. So this is the piece that was left over from when we did the, the whole building. So we'll just tack that up and then we'll bring the little piece over the top of it. All right, we finished both gable ends. Pretty much what I do is keep a running list in my phone. And when we, when we come over here 
on like the evenings I, we just kind of work through that list so like finish the gable ends has been on here for a while you know finish interior walls put in a window um things like adding the lag screws or um just like some things that we need to tidy up or finish up or tie up loose ends kind of we do that on the evenings and we more or less do our big projects are like working on the plywood on the loft or like putting the metal on the roof which will kind of be the next thing here or putting in soffit things like that we'll do um when we when craig takes some days off or on a weekend where we have more time to devote to a big project so that's just kind of how we're working this but this is done now and now it's ready for the roof we're going to put a door on here and then we can start putting that solar equipment inside and start hooking everything up to have power so We'll get the siding on too. Um, it's just not a top priority right now. We don't have to have the siding on. It is dried in um, this way. So that's what's happening at the homestead this evening. I'll keep you posted and I'm going to be sure to let you see us start that soffit um, tomorrow. I don't know if you've seen the gutters here. The gutters are on. We are going to change that downspout though because we're going to start some rainwater collection right there. Um, on both ends here so that we can use it for watering the garden or watering the animals um, Same thing on the front gutter And yes, we don't have doors on yet, but that's because we're still waiting for that equipment to get out of there We're gonna probably be working on electrical and plumbing this weekend and insulation and the ceiling and after that um, We'll have to have it in there for the to do the sheetrock or tin on the ceilings whichever we decide to do and then that equipment will come out We'll probably install the side door before that point but the front door i think is where that piece of equipment is going to roll out and then we'll be sure to get the front door in so i think that's where i'm going to leave you tonight um you got to see all of um a few projects coming together over the past couple of days sorry my battery died the other day when we were working on the loft but that is my reminder that i need to be charging this thing every night because we're over here and i'm using it pretty much all the time so thanks for joining us. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe if you haven't already. There's lots more coming. I'm so excited about this plumbing and electrical and insulation because after that, we have like a really big inspection and then it's like sheetrock and we'll be ready for some finishing touches. We've got to get in this thing really soon. See you next time.